What's going on everyone? It's Asil Suede. Welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to be taking you all through 10 habits to get 10% body fat. So I'll be sharing with you all 10 simple steps any of you all can follow to guaranteed get to 10% body fat, even a little bit lower. But in general, these habits and steps are really going to lay out the foundation of what you need to focus on to lose fat and build muscle. So look, if you enjoy these videos and vlogs, make sure you smash the like button right now. I'll genuinely appreciate it. If you don't, the rock will show up and make you eat about 400 grams of protein. Let's get started with the video. Welcome to my bedroom. I have something very important to show you all. Not over here, you sickos. Come to the bathroom. That's weird as well. Step number one is going to consist of is weighing yourself every day. I've got myself a weight scale and what I like to do every single morning as soon as I wake up is immediately weigh myself naked. Seriously, actually what I'll do is go once I've emptied out my body, then I'll weigh myself and then I'll jot that weight down. I have my own program that allows me to plug in my weight every single day and then also it gives me my seven day average, which is very important. So don't get so caught up on the daily weight trend, whether it's going down or whether it's going up. Do your average weekly weight and compare that. So that is habit number one. Very important to weigh yourself every day and don't get too caught up on the weight. Man, I'm starving. Time for breakfast. Psych, you don't get to eat. Okay, not really, but hear me out here. So habit number two, or aka step number two, is gonna be to intermittent fast. So practicing intermittent fasting has been a tremendous part in helping me get to 10% body fat when I'm trying to diet down, even to single digit body fat percentages because it allows me to save my calories for when I really need them, when I'm actually hungry. I guarantee you like 80% of all of you don't really feel hungry in the morning and you really don't need food to function. What I'd recommend is grabbing yourself a cup of black coffee after drinking lots of water, which is gonna suppress your appetite and keep you moving. And then when you're actually hungry, have your first meal of the day when you really need it. This step is actually one of the most important parts that surprising a lot of people skip out on. Habit number three is to drink at least one gallon of water daily. Now specifically drinking one gallon is not magically gonna make you wake up and be 10% body fat, but you need to make sure you're hydrating and flushing out your system. So make sure you're increasing your water intake because naturally if you're trying to get to 10% body fat, you're gonna be training hard, you're gonna be doing lots of cardio, which I'm gonna talk to you all about later in this video. You need to make sure you're hydrating. This is extremely important. It's the number one thing to not only make you look better, but also feel so much better throughout the day. Drink your water, folks. Listen up, habit number four, AKA step number four in this video is gonna be one of the most important things you have to follow to not only get 10% body fat, but see serious results and guarantee results. And that is counting calories. So far too many people just think eating healthy is enough. Let's say you're making your first meal a day, whether you're fasting or not, okay? Let's say you're eating breakfast. We're gonna have hot dogs and eggs. Now there's plenty of apps that you can use to track calories. Be specific, H-E-B natural beef hot dog. Bam, there we have it. 130 calories, one gram of carbs. 11 grams of fat, five grams of protein. We plug that in. Now we're gonna look up whole eggs. Let's say you're gonna have three eggs. Look up whole eggs. Again, remember to be specific here. Boom, one egg is 70 calories. We're gonna go ahead and throw in three, plug that in, and bam, there you have it, guys. This is how you count calories. I figured I'd show you all how to do this because a lot of you hear that all the time but don't really know how to do it. Habit number five, AKA step number five, is gonna be counting macros. Now this is the next step up after you've mastered counting calories. What is a macro, you might be wondering. A macro is either a carbohydrate, fat, or a protein. Per gram of fat has nine calories, per gram of carbs and proteins has four calories. What you wanna do is first choose a calorie goal that you're trying to intake every single day, then break that number of calories with the amount of protein, carbs, and fats you need to hit every single day to reach your goal optimally and where you feel best at. And look, counting macros can be a little bit tedious. It's not realistic to do every single day, but what I always tell my tens of thousands of clients and in general, the advice I give on YouTube is that you wanna make sure you're just accurate with it about 80% of the time during the week, then you're gonna see amazing results in the long term scheme of things. Or what you can do is count calories and then protein. So pretty much just focus on hitting a specific number of protein and then the rest of your calories come from carbs and fats without really a specific goal. Do what you think is more realistic and what best suits your lifestyle. I personally love counting macros to really get serious about getting to 10% body fat. 
<laughs> Habit number six or step number six of this video is going to be scheduled pre-workout meals. So for me personally, like I mentioned earlier in this video, I like to intermittent fast, but it's finally time for me to eat, which is typically pre-workout for me, or just in general, if you don't like to fast, but you like to train in the mornings or hell, even the afternoons, what I highly recommend is no matter what, have a pre-workout meal because your pre-workout meal is gonna set the tone for your intensity in the gym. If you're not feeling really good to train hard and kick your own ass in the gym, you're not gonna get to that echelon of having 10% body fat and just in general seeing really good results. So the pre-workout meal is one of the most important scheduled meals of your day. All right guys, so this is just a huge bonus tip, but if you're trying to get to 10% body fat and just in general, you wanna gain muscle, lose body fat, make sure you're eating high protein. The best way for me to eat high protein is to simply supplement. So what I like to do is have high protein snacks. Protein chips, like check it out, we have salt and vinegar, barbecue flavored protein chips. This makes it so much easier because these are snacks that I actually enjoy that have tons of protein, a ton of protein bars. I mean, we got some chocolate brownie flavored ones. We have cookies and cream. So my protein has been stocked out of protein bars for such a long time so I stocked up added pretty much as much as I could in my cart so make sure you guys do the same thing but look guys we're having a massive protein sale you can always get 40% off your entire order by using discount code a seal VIP at checkout I'm gonna link these protein bars these protein chips along with this impact Whey protein that I use every single day so you guys can also follow a high protein diet with ease I promise and this is also gonna be so budget friendly because I hate when people spend so much money on supplementation if you know the code a seal VIP and you know my protein Protein, you're never gonna spend that much money on protein supplements. So I'm currently at the gym, moving on to habit number seven, AKA step number seven, and that is to train every muscle group two times per week. Frequency training is a great habit to be in if you're trying to get 10% body fat and achieve the best physique possible. So what I recommend you guys do is hop on a proper workout split. What that means is doing a push-pull legs routine or even an upper-lower split. That way you're training every single muscle group two times per week. Moving on to habit eight, AKA step eight, and that is to do post-workout cardio. A lot of people will prioritize cardio over weight training, and usually they do it before their training. That's the number one thing you actually wanna avoid because cardio, you can really get into a robotic state of doing this, and it's not gonna require a ton of effort, especially when you're doing low intensity, steady state cardio on the treadmill, just like what I'm doing right now. So do this post-workout for about 20, maybe up to 30 minutes. You have a lot of body fat to lose. I promise it's not only gonna feel a lot better, and you're gonna actually progress more in the gym with your training, but you're gonna melt fat a lot quicker. Habit number nine, aka step number nine here, is going to be scheduled post-workout meals. Now, I already told you that you should be following scheduled pre-workout meals, but having scheduled post-workout meals as well is really going to help you set the tone for the rest of your day, especially if you're training in the mornings, guys. Your post-workout meal along with your pre-workout meals are one of the most important things that you probably should schedule, even if you're following more of a flexible dining approach. Meal timings aren't so important unless in my opinion they're pre and post workout so we got some white rice we have the teriyaki chicken that i've already pre-grilled vegetables i'm gonna mix in here i'll show you all exactly how and what this is so what i want to do is screen record exactly how i'm tracking this meal on my fitness pal so you know how i'm figuring out the calories in the macros but 200 grams of white rice bam 200 grams you just become a pro at this eventually six ounces of the cooked teriyaki chicken breast we're gonna microwave and heat this up with the power of youtube bam now we're gonna go ahead and throw in the vegetables which is gonna be some shredded lettuce some diced tomato. Easy as that. Now feel free to put some low or zero calorie condiments. I love sriracha, it is so damn good. But check that out, very simple meal. It honestly will taste amazing. It's gonna leave you feeling even better. So make sure you have a scheduled post-workout meal, something similar to this. And if you need to eat out, man, go for it. Like you can have Chipotle with a similar bowl. You can never go wrong with a bowl. You can pick a lean meat, a lean carb, lots of vegetables. Really now in days when you eat out, you can kind of construct your own kind of meal. It doesn't have to be a high fat food item on the menu. So just make sure you choose something lean, something healthy, something that's gonna fill you up and long term leave you successful for the rest of your day of eating.
So habit number 10, aka step number 10 of this video is gonna be a real heartbreaker, but if you don't stay true to this and follow this, you're not gonna get anywhere, let alone get to 10% body fat. And that, my friends, is patience. Look, it's gonna take a lot of time to get to 10% body fat. Hell, you could start at 15% body fat. And getting to 10% is still going to take time. A lot of people mislead you thinking they get there in just one week. It's gonna take time and effort, and you're gonna mess up, and you have to get back on it. But no matter what, guys, I really hope the information in this video helps you get there. It's more of an information based vlog and video. So if you enjoy this, you want to see more just like this, smash the like button right now. I do appreciate your support and subscribe to my YouTube channel along with hitting the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. So you know when I upload new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see every single one of you in the next video.